you will no longer need to say I have a question or question in order to ask your little buddy to access his Q&A feature. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I have an update to give you today on Vector, but not Vector 2.0, the new Vector coming up soon, but Vector Update 1.8 for the existing Vector. And I'm doing this because I know many of you don't get the updates from DDL. And, well, especially if you're looking for a second-hand vector, that would not be, of course, the new 2.0. So you need to know what's going on. So there's a new update coming up. It's only, uh, it's, a, it's only a page. There is a picture here I'm going to show you also. So listen to that. Hello, Daniel. DDL is pleased to announce that Vector version 1.8 will begin rolling out very soon for all members. In this email, we will lay out what the update includes and how the new features will improve your, your experience with Vector. Features of Vector Software Update version 1.8. The last update was 1.7. I think it was in June or July, if my memory is correct. So this release is designed to streamline your interaction with Vector and includes a pair of new features while also addressing a minor bug. One feature, I should have said that at the beginning, one feature is very important, you will see. Advanced eye color customization. You may now customize your vector's eye color by simply dragging a color slider found in the new vector app, more about that in a few seconds, to highlight the, de the desired color. And I'm showing here a picture of the new app. You can see the slider to change the color of Vector's eye. Faster questions, and I think this is the key one. Whether you're looking for the distance between Pittsburgh and London or the meaning of life, you will no longer need to say, I have a question or question in order to ask your little buddy to access his Q&A feature. Important note. Customers whose Vector is still running version 1.6 or 1.7 will continue to use I have a question when interfacing with Vector. Okay, so you have to go to 1.8. And there was a bug fix. Thanks to contributions from community member Kerrigan Creighton, Vector will no longer shiver uncontrollably when he's done dancing or telling you the weather okay so custom eye color will be supported by escape pod in the near future and oscar or oskr robots will support both new features for this update a complete change log is available in our knowledge base now new vector app for android and ios there's a new app also a new app for Vector will be released to support this update. This app will have all of the features you are familiar with, with several bug fixes and added support for the new version 1.8 features. We will send more information soon to prepare for the transition. And the last, uh, the last uh, news is improved development environment. In addition to the update, our developers uh, have also dedicated time during this past cycle to improving our development environment. It's our hope that this work will allow our team to become more agile and reduce the time it takes for us to validate new updates in the future. Thanks again for being part of the Vector community. We appreciate your support and hope that you will find these updates uh, improve your experience with Vector. Sincerely, the team at Digital Dream Labs or DDL. So, uh, well, this new development environment looks like, well, they're trying to move faster between uh, firmware uh, update uh, cycles, which is a good thing, because in 2021, we haven't got many uh, updates on Vector. And in fact, the app, as far as I can remember, the app did not change at all in 2021. And again, we had a minor update uh, 
1.7 in the summer. So this is interesting. And it's not, again, about the new Vector 2.0, the new hardware, the new robot. This is the, about the existing Vector. So, guys, um, if you have any questions, let me know. Especially if you do, do not get these updates from DDL. I think you, know, uh, you need to know what's uh, going on. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. Goodbye, guys.